I hear that I'm over 40, I'm pushing 50, whatever. Bring it. Back off, negative. Not happening. In fact, I'm stepping it up. I'm training harder, eating cleaner. I'm training more. I'm learning and reading and studying more now than I ever have in my whole life. Do I get dinged up? Of course I do. You know what? No factor. No factor. Deal with them. You, you know what? You know what I hear? I hear the clock ticking. That's what I hear. And the end is nigh. And time waits for no man. And you young guns out there, 18 years old, 20 years old, 24 years old, listen. Life goes by. And it goes by quick. Don't waste those years. Don't waste them. Live them. I know that you don't think you're going to live to be 30, much less 40, but you are and you will. And the earlier you get in the game, the better life you're going to have. Healthier, wealthier, stronger, smarter, better. Better. And if you're an old man like me, and you haven't gotten on track yet, get on track. Get on it now. Here's the deal. No complacency. No complacency. No backing off. No slack whatsoever. Fight. Fight that ticking clock with everything you got. So, at the end of a hard day, put your head down with ease. Satisfied. Number one, just out on a practical side, if you wake up early in the morning, like at 4.30 in the morning, you're gonna have some free time to yourself to make things happen, to take care of things that are important to you. You know, if you try and work out at 4.30 in the afternoon, how many people are gonna chip away at that time? Your boss, your job, your work, your family, your other obligations that you might have. At 4.30 in the morning, all those people are asleep. The other side of it is just straight up self-discipline. It's not fun to get out of bed early in the morning when the alarm goes off, it doesn't sing you a song, it hits you in the head with a baseball bat. So how do you respond to that? Do you crawl underneath your covers and hide? Or do you get up, get aggressive, and attack the day? People have sent me articles about how discipline dissipates the more you use it. The more you use your willpower, the weaker it gets. Whatever scientist wrote that, contact me, because you're wrong, it's not true. If you have discipline, if you have willpower, the more you use them, the stronger they get. You don't lose will throughout the day. You don't say, oh no, it's, it's, it's one o'clock in the afternoon, where are the chocolate chip cookies? No, actually you feel good, you feel mentally strong, and you say, no, I don't need any chocolate chip cookies. Where's the beef jerky? Cause I'm gonna get it. My main thing is to get people to get up and move. And if you sweat, that's the goal. The goal is to get out there and sweat. Part of that too is you don't need much. You know, you, you go to some rinky dink little hotel gym, it's easy to be like, oh, there's, they don't have the gear that I normally like to have, so I can't get a good workout in. You don't need any of that stuff. You can just crank out a, a, a workout in your room, do burpees, you know, till you're puking in the trash can. It's, uh, it's, it's good time. I guarantee if you get up in the morning and you work out and you work hard, you will have a better. Are there some things from your service that you can't shake? So for example, you still wake up at 4.30 in the morning to go work out. What was it about your time in, in the SEALs that you wanted to keep these habits up? They're good habits. Why would you not wake up at 4.30? Well, what does this bring to you? Waking up early? You just get a jump on the day. The reason I wake up at 4.30 in the morning is because no one else is awake yet. So that gives me the opportunity to do things that I need to get done kind of selfishly for myself. And the big one in that category is working out. And it doesn't feel good at 4.30 when you get up, but by the time seven o'clock rolls around and you've already worked out and you've already gotten some, some work done, 
and you've got some time to say goodbye to your kids before they go to school, it's infinitely better than sleeping in until 6.45 and you get out of bed and now you're, you missed your kids going to school or or whatever. You, you, you're not prepared for the day. It's it's awful. So if someone, maybe they, do, they don't have time to work out or they just need something that could be like a quick fix, is there something that you recommend? Oh yeah, workouts don't have to take a long time. Workouts can be very quick. Matter of fact, go do two minutes of burpees, as, as many burpees as you can in two minutes or, or four minutes or six minutes. Go and sprint, go and do anything very intensely for a short period of time and you'll get great benefit out of it. Something I'm sure you hear a lot is 4.30, like this either just can't fit into my schedule or if I'm gonna be realistic, I'm probably not gonna wake up at 4.30. What do you tell people who say that? Yeah, and there's people that work night shifts and there's people that it's unhealthy for them they can't fall, it's like, no, be healthy, get enough sleep. But first of all, wake up at the same time every day. And if you pick that time and you start waking up at the same time every day, that's very good for you. It doesn't have to be 4.30, it could be 6.30, it could be seven. I don't know what your personal schedule is, but find out a time, pick it, set it, stick to it, and maintain that schedule, and that's gonna end up better for you. I recommend it's earlier. I recommend that you go to bed earlier because what are you doing at night most of the time? Most of the time at night, you're not working on anything super productive. You're just winding down and watching stupid YouTube videos or surfing the internet, reading clickbait stories, right? Don't do that. Instead, go to sleep and then wake up early. Could you explain that notion of discipline equals freedom? If you want more freedom in your life, you have to have more discipline. If you don't have any discipline, you'll end up with absolutely no freedom. You'll end up being a slave to other people that boss you around. There's all kinds of problems that can occur if you don't have discipline in your life. And the more discipline you have, the more freedom you're gonna have. So just the, the discipline of the SEALs will never, it's impossible to leave? No, it's possible to leave. There's, there's retired SEALs all over the place that are undisciplined. They've moved on and they don't care about that anymore. It's fine. I don't judge other people on what they're doing. Like they're probably stoked to sleep in and hang out with their kids and eat breakfast in bed. That's fine. I don't have anything against that. But for me, I, I, I wanna get up and go.